Here we have a PS2 mouse which we're going to clean. We can see the exterior surface of the mouse is quite dirty, especially at the bottom here and here where the mouse has picked up debris such as dust and dead skin and sweat and grease from the surface that it's being used on. The exterior dirt is mainly just cosmetic but we also have quite a lot of dirt inside the mouse. This is a mechanical mouse, a bull mouse and the bull will also be picking up debris from the surfaces being used on and depositing it on the rollers inside the mouse. If we want to take a look inside, if we want to clean the inside of the mouse we twist this retaining collar in the direction of the arrows and then that retaining collar will just tip out and so will the ball. Take a look at the ball, we can see quite a lot of dirt building up on it. And if we take a look at the rollers, we we'll also see quite a build up of grime on those as well. See this roller here, some grime built up on that. And there's two other rollers, the two black rollers, there's one here. And one in here produce horizontal and vertical movement as the ball moves across them. And there's another roller here, which is sprung, just in there, which pushes the ball against the two other rollers. And that build-up of dirt on the rollers will cause the ball to slip and will make the mouse pointer either not move on the screen or jump around erratically. We can clean the surface of the mouse just using a soft cloth, a microfiber cloth, and any cleaning solution suitable for plastics. To clean the rollers, we can use a cotton bud, a cotton swab like this, soaked in a cleaning solution to clean the grime off the rollers. I've now finished cleaning the mouse and I just want to show you the amount of grime we've removed from it. If we look here, this is all the goo that came off of the rollers inside the mouse. And we can also see the amount of dirt that we've lifted on the cotton swab here, again from the rollers and the body of the mouse. So we can see the mouse looks much cleaner now. The body is much cleaner. The bull has been cleaned up, as well as the rollers. here is much cleaner now and with a clean ball and clean rollers we'll get uh, a much more accurate mouse pointer movement on the screen. All we need to do now is reassemble the mouse, just flip it over, drop the ball back in, put the collar in place and then just twist it in the opposite direction of the arrows. Before we give the mouse back to the user, just give the cable a wipe and also check to see that all the pins in the PS2 connector are straight. If any of them do look bent, we may be able to straighten them up with a pair of thin nose pliers.